Hey y'all, I'm Angie. Welcome to my channel where I do stuff. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. In today's video, I'm going to be looking for sea urchins and other marine life at uh, this location about two hours away from College Station. And uh, I'd like to thank Scott, if you're watching, for giving me the location tip. Everything you need to know about today's video will be in the description box below. So let's get started. Okay, so I just climbed up the hill and this is the very first thing I found. And I see another one, a different species, right over here. This is pretty, oh look, here's a imprint of some kind of gastropod. Look at this one. Oh my God, is that not the most beautiful thing? Can you even see it? Is it in focus? My screen is turned up all the way, but it is so bright out here. And the white background isn't helping. But as you can see, I am on a bit of an incline. So, yay, I'm already off to a great start. Y'all know sea urchins are my favorite. And since I am not going to be in Texas much longer, it only made sense to come look for them today. That looks like some kind of bivalve. Like I said, I'm not sure how much of this is in focus for you. As always, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what I found after I get everything cleaned up. So if it's not in focus, I apologize, but you'll see it soon. <laughs> Can y'all see what I'm looking at? It's right here. Oh, I love him, he's so cute. I'm having fun. Look at this giant clam. Steinkern. Really cool. Oh yeah. with a bonus gastropod. This one's telling me I can kiss his butt. I've got so much stuff sitting in my hands. I'm trying to get back to my backpack. Now, my glasses are on and they're polarized, but that looks crystallized to me. It's kind of hard to tell. Here's another baby right here. So we've got part of a sea urchin, part of a gastropod, a sea urchin, and a spirally, ga spirally gastropod. Another little urchin. I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. I thought I was filming, apparently not but I just found this little guy and a steinkern from a clam and my lid started to blow away. I guess there are ammonites out here since I just found part of one. Pretty cool. If I thought I could get back up, probably the smartest thing to do would be to sit down and just collect all the things that are around me. Gastropod. Okay, another gastropod sea urchin. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but um, can y'all see those sutures? Look at that gorgeous ammonite. I may need to be up higher. I just don't know. And I didn't ask questions because, I don't know, 
part of the fun is figuring it out yourself, you know? And then if I have to go sit in the car for a little while to cool off and then come back out, I will. Two hours isn't very far, but it's enough to make me not want to go home already. I'm trying to find the best way to bend down. Sometimes there doesn't really seem to be one. Cool, cool. I have no idea the species on these. I've got a good idea about the urchins, but that's about it. I literally just stepped on this little guy and looked down and bam, there he, oh, here's another one. A little baby. Sea urchin. Look at that gorgeous fella. Something that seems to be a constant. Anytime I'm fossil hunting in an area that has people in it frequently, I always find the ancient golf balls. <laughs> Just kind of funny, I think. Ooh, urchin. Here's another, another part of an ammonite. Look at these sutures. I don't even know if you can see that. That's gorgeous. Part of it's crystallized. Awesome. Uh, whoop. Sorry. <laughs> I really am having a lot of fun today. Oh, that one's pretty. Like that. <sighs> Gorgeous. <sighs> I love it. I love it so much. I see several, but I'll take you to the one that I see first that brought me to even look over here. And it's this guy. Now here's a part of an ammonite. So I didn't have a whole lot of hope, but this is the first whole one I've plucked out of the ground. That's what I like to see. <laughs> see, I'm still in the dirt. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it so much. Oh, wow. That one's gorgeous. I did find other locations to visit. You know, that'll give me enough time to cool off and decide if I want to keep hunting. Woohoo! Hi there, sweetheart. Beautiful. So the second location is just as fruitful. I'm like literally just that far away from a car. I don't know. If I fall, I'm gonna land in the backyards of those houses. That's probably not great. And I just picked up this gorgeous piece of ammonite. I'm too tired to keep doing this. And the dog started barking, so I should probably boogie. I am the worst liar. Pretty little one. Look at the size of these. Are y'all getting this? Can you believe that? That is gorgeous. I just came from this part that's washed out right here. An ammonite. Another urchin. <sighs> yeah, I know. I said I was going to go home and, and I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Do you blame me? Yeah, look at that. <sighs> Is this not the most perfect boy you've seen? Ah, oh, I'm in love. This little plant's been hiding something for me. So I thought we would start with the Steinkerns. Apparently Steinkern is incorrect, despite it being spelled S-T instead of S-C-H. But hey, what do I know, right? This one looks really great on the front. There are a couple of fossils down in here. And if you 
turn it, there's a little spirally guy right there and a spirally guy right there. Not so great on the back, but yeah. And I haven't cleaned these cause I don't know the proper way to do so yet. And so instead of, I mean, they're shedding everywhere, but instead of ruining them, I figured I'd just show them to you dirty. Uh, I love this one because of all the patterns that you can still see on the clam. Not perfect, but I found it and that makes it a treasure, right? <laughs> That's the story I'm going with. Um, this one still has part of the shell on it. It's really pretty. One of the most complete ones of this size that I was able to find. And I do apologize for my nails. I realize they're offensive and horrid, but um, I don't have any nail care products here at this house. So um, I haven't had the chance to paint them or anything else. And I do apologize. This clam is pretty cool. It's a different shape than the others. And uh, if you look really close here, you can see there are some lines from the inside of the shell that are imprinted. Love this clam. Steingern. It's just fun to say. Try it. Steingern. Sounds like it should be like a heavy metal band, huh? I loved the shape of that one. Had to pick it up. This is the last of the shells. This was like one of the very first ones I found. And it's sizable and it's got some pretty nice. I mean, you can tell when it fossilized, it was broken a little bit, but still together. Okay, we have reached the ammonite portion of today's program. Um, the ammonite portion portion of the program. Um, I realize this is a fragment, but um, those sutures are just so pretty. We got this one. And you can kind of see them on here a little bit, but they're more obvious on this side. This species and the one I'm about to show you, uh, these are the ones that I used to find in Wise County, or maybe not the exact species, but they look very similar. Um, I used to find these in Wise County up near uh, Decatur. And um, I always enjoyed finding them. And then this is the last ammonite piece that I found. And you can see why it was so easy to find this. It really stands out. I also like the bonus oyster shells on here. All right, this piece, I do not know what it is, but um, it's solid on one end and hollow on the other. Um, it does have like a little center core piece but um, it's kind of, again, it's kind of hard to tell in this light. I'm sorry that my lighting is just so horrible. This does not look like a crinoid to me. It could be some kind of coral stalk. I have no idea. But then it's also kind of like this one, which uh, this one's solid on both ends, but it just looked like a stalk of something, coral or otherwise but it's definitely not petrified wood. I, I do know that for sure. If you have any idea what either of these two things may be, feel free to leave me a comment below. Okay, so first up we have our, our first little urchin that I believe is a Heteraster Texanus. Um, I am not like the expert when it comes to not only in this formation, but identifying any kind of echinoid really. So if you think that you know what it is and you're, you think I'm wrong or whatever, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, you know, you can use a timestamp to tell me which one you're talking about. That would be very helpful. Some of these I think are kind of hard to tell because there's still so much matrix on them or whatever. There's not enough to really be able to see the the outlines of what helps identify it, at least for me as a beginner. But um, I think that this one's a heteraster. Uh, I, I just love these things. I just really do. Um, sea urchins are my favorite fossil to find. Um, not this particular species, but you know what? I'll take them because I, I still love them. I believe that this is heteraster as well. 
and they're just so cool. I think this is another header aster. Now, apparently there are like spines to be found. Uh, it was very, very difficult to discern details. So I, I wouldn't have been able to find any spines even if I'd looked because they just don't show up. I believe this is another heteraster. This is a baby. If you don't know who Zay Frank is, you're really missing out on hilarious YouTube comedy all about animals. This is the one I said looked crystallized and it still does. That looks like calcite to me. And I believe this is gonna be a heteraster as well. There's another one that is similarly shaped called a pleotoxaster or pleotoxaster. I have no idea how you pronounce it. Um, there's another one that's very similarly shaped to this and that's what I think this one might be because this is a lot shallower and I don't know, like, like I said, it's almost impossible to tell. This is another heteraster. Found several that were crushed like while fossilization was happening. And like, here's an example of one that was crushed to a degree. And here's another heteraster. And some of y'all may know better than me. Um, how many of y'all know how to clean these up? Because <laughs> if you do, that would be helpful. Okay, these are my favorite types. I love these guys so much. This type of urchin is my favorite. This is not a fantastic example. And I have no idea what kind this is. Um, if I had to guess based on what I've seen, I would say that it's some kind of uh, tetragramma um, species of some sort. Maybe a Texanum, but I, I just really don't know. Some of y'all are so much better at this than I am, so any help that you can give would be delightful. I would, you know, I would really like to get these cleaned up, but I don't know like how much of it is shell and how much of it is just an imprint, so. I'm very hesitant to do too terribly much to them. You can see this one's cracked. And the fact that it hasn't fallen apart yet is just really good. So I'm gonna have to get my paleo bond out and fix this before it gets any worse. But these are my favorites to find. And if you've ever seen any of my Waco pit videos, then um, I'll link one up here somewhere for you to see. But I just love these so much. This might be a Tetragramma Malbosi. I'm kind of noticing something about the center part that, that looks different, but I just don't know. Y'all are, y'all are a great help. So here you have it. These are some of the best finds that I found from my trip. Um, which one out of all of these is your favorite? Uh, you don't have to be obsessive with the sea urchins like I am, but you know, just let me know which one you thought was the coolest or which one you want to know more about. You know, I just love interacting with y'all in the comments. So uh, I love having conversations about this stuff and discussing it. So any thoughts that you have, questions you may have, do you want to see more of something? Because I do have more species and uh, more specimens that I didn't show here. Um, but these were just like the ones that caught my eye that I thought were the best or whatever. So anyway, let me know your thoughts.
Well, y'all, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. You could have been doing anything else in the world that you wanted to be doing and you chose to spend a few of those minutes with me and it really does mean the most. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed today's video, then I hope you'll consider subscribing because I would love to see you back here next week when I do more stuff. Bye.